guys welcome back to my channel it's Shelly I'm trying not to use my hand so much <laughs> but it's hard um welcome back today's video I'm gonna do a lookbook and I'm gonna start like a new series look at me I already have like 14 subscribers and I'm already starting series but yeah I wanted to start a series about film fashion I really like movies and I like dressing up and getting inspired by film fashion especially so I wanted to start something new called film fashion where I'm gonna take my favorite movies and basically recreate the outfits so for today's video we're gonna start off with The Devil Wears Prada this is one of my favorite movies I think I watched this as a kid and that's kind of like where I was like oh my gosh she looks so good I want to dress like her and I never really got into it until like these past two years where I've started dressing up and just feeling more confident in how I dress and how I look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what movies I should do next because I have a few in mind that I already know I want to do but it'd be cool to explore other fashion movies related that I could recreate or just any good movies in general because I enjoy movies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the video. Okay, hey guys, so starting off with this first look, I decided to do the one of the looks that she does when she has like a little outfits montage and I just decided to do this white coat one. Um, I don't have a lot of white clothes so I just got this white coat from Steinmart. My mom found it a couple weeks ago when we went and I haven't worn it because I don't have anywhere to go but at least I got to wear it in this shot. So I just paired this white coat with a little black dress because you couldn't see what she was wearing underneath but I'm guessing it was something black and sleek. And I just tied this white belt around the waist just to tie it in with the white. and. She wears tights and like heels with every outfit, so that's basically what I'm going to do. The only thing I didn't have was a white accessory for the head, so I just threw on this bigger boy hat. It's the only one I had, and we made do. But yeah, that's look number one. For the second look, I went with this cute long black coat outfit with the boots that she wears. I think she sees her boyfriend in one of these looks and I really like this one. I like how it came out especially the tights with the boots. I think it's so cute. So I again just paired this black long coat and I kept the outfit really simple with just a black mini skirt and a long black top. I think the key thing for dressing up is to accessorize so I took a long necklace that I had similar to hers and I had this big black tote bag kind of like the one she had but essentially you just accessorize and use the same kind of materials that you have to make what you can okay this next look is probably one of my favorite looks from the movie and from the ones I recreated I just paired the little black dress from the first shot and I tucked it in under my bra to make it a little bit shorter and I paired it with my long black collared shirt that I have here and I again just accessorized with the hair and the pearls and the tights and the shoes and I think it came out really cute. I love it. <laughs> I didn't want to take it off. Next up we have this Miranda Priestly look. It's probably one of my favorites too um yeah she just looks really cool she's always like in heels and super sleek and good looking so i paired this look and i didn't have a black a red belt so i just took a red ribbon and i tied it around my waist and i paired it with these pointy shoes these are the only pair of pointy shoes i have and i again just accessorized with some red necklaces and silver looking earrings and i did my hair up just because I thought if she did have long hair, I think she'd have it up. So yeah, that was the next look. <laughs> Did 
this next look, I based it off of Emily, and I couldn't find a full picture of her outfit, but you can see her shirt that has like a little cutout thing. So I essentially just did that, and I did my hair and my accessories the same. And I kind of figured that she does wear like long black skirts with every outfit just to keep it classy and minimal. And again, I think the key thing about recreating these outfits is like doing the hair or the accessories similar to what you're recreating just to make it look authentic and similar. So that's what I did for a lot of these outfits. You'll notice the theme here. For this next look, I went ahead and recreated this polka dot shirt one. This one was kind of hard because I didn't have a longer skirt. I originally wanted to wear a longer skirt with this because I think it would have looked way better, but I just had to make do with what I had. So I just paired this mini black skirt from the previous looks and this polka dot shirt and I tied a blue belt around it. This is the only blue belt I have. I have no idea why I have it, but I have it. <laughs> um, and again, I just accessorized with like a little choker necklace like how she has and some heels that I'm pretty sure she probably would have worn. And yeah, this is the next book. And last but not least, probably my second favorite look is the final look that she wears in the movie. Well, like that she wears in Paris and that she goes out and she realizes that she doesn't want to be this person anymore and she wears this cute little dress with like a cropped jacket kind of thing and it's really cute I think I like it because she wears like gloves and the little bag and her hair and makeup look great so I did similar stuff like that to replicate re recreate the outfit and I turned I think it turned out really cute so yeah and yeah that completes this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time bye